It is common knowledge that steam engine-powered cars, produced in the 19th and early 20th centuries, offered a low speed and fewer distance. However, steam-powered cars manufactured by Stanley Company were far from being slow walkers. Initially, twins Francis and Oscar Stanley ran business in the field of photography rather than car industry. Then Stanley Brothers sold the patent to Kodak and thus afforded to design a car in 1897. Cars designed by Stanley shared one peculiar feature. They all were powered by steam engine. The then steam engines offered considerable benefits as compared with primitive gasoline engines. Stanley's engine had a vertical fire tube boiler installed under the seat. It was heated by burners powered by any sort of kerosene or gasoline. Such boilers were safer than it might seem, as they were equipped with safety valves. In fact, no event of Stanley boiler explosion was recorded for over than 30 years of their operation. Stanley's car of improved design set up a global speed record of 203 km per hour. The model of 1907 managed to cover 50 miles per one tank. The boiler produced steam pressure required to move the car 10 to 15 minutes after the engine start. Stanley produced about 1,000 cars per year, while the overall number of cars manufactured by the company exceeded 10,000. Despite a number of benefits, such a good fuel distance and multi-fuel engines, steam-powered cars have quit the stage by the 1930s due to their low fuel efficiency and difficult operation. However, recent 10 years have seen successes of Stanley's flying tea kettles coming back as alternative sports.